Hello and welcome to Teaching Bio. Today we're going to look at the second required practical, which is on investigating um, the percentage of cells that are undergoing mitosis, i.e. the mitotic index, okay? So, first thing you might be able, you might be asked in the exam is to explain how a slide of root tip needs to be prepared, okay? And the standard sort of answer that you can give for that is as follows, and that is to cut a thin slice of root tip using a scalpel, then you mount the root tip onto slide using a mounted needle then you macerate with the needle okay to sort of break it apart then you stain it with toluidine blue okay a type of dye then you lower a glass slip on top of the slide using a mounted needle at a 45 degree angle to prevent any air bubbles and then you squash down slightly um, by pressing on the glass slip but you do not push sideways and then you obviously you observe the um, slide in a uh, light microscope and you look at the number of cells that are undergoing mitosis, okay, and the total number of cells there are, and you times that by 100. So mitosis, obviously, cell division, and the stages of mitosis are prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. So there's a little picture there. So cells are in prophase. The way we'll see that is that the chromosomes have sort of coiled and condensed and become shorter and fatter. The centrioles have moved to the poles, okay? Um, so that would be your evidence for stating why the cell is in prophase. For metaphase, the chromosomes have lined on the equator, okay, on the metaphase plate. Um, spindle fibers have attached to the centromere. Um, and then the next stage is anaphase, and that's where the spindle fibers have contracted and sister chromatids have been pulled to the poles of the cell, okay? So you can sort of see the cells in motion moving to each of the cells, okay? As you put in the picture. Um, likewise, you can have cells in telophase where sort of a new nuclear envelope is developed and the cells are splitting to form two more and going into cytokinesis. So common questions that come up in exams um, on this practical uh, are as follows. Number one, why is tullidine blue used to stain cells? And that is because uh, without staining the cells, we won't be able to see the chromosomes yet, so we can see the chromosomes, okay? That's the key thing here, seeing the chromosomes. It has to be the chromosomes because that's what the context of the question is. Um, second question, why do we macerate the cell with a needle, okay? So when we're preparing it, we macerate it with a needle, and that's to separate the cells, okay? So macerate with a needle, why? Separate the cells. Why do we press down on the glass slip, okay? You've got to make sure that you... Press down slightly, yep, um, but not pushing sideways. And that's to spread the tissue, okay? So there is a single layer of cells. And why do we need a single layer of cells? So that light can travel through the optical microscope so chromosomes can be seen. Again, you've got to be contextual. You've got to say the chromosomes can be seen, not that the cell can be seen. That is true, but the point is the chromosomes, okay? Why do you not push sideways and you press down on the glass slip? And that's because if you push sideways, you will break the chromosomes. So you do not push sideways to avoid breaking chromosomes. Again, as you can see, chromosomes is the context. So you've got to be specific to chromosomes. Why are root tip cells used to observe cells in mitosis? Okay, so why do we use the root tip and not, you know, somewhere else? And that's because root tips grow rapidly and growth involves mitosis, okay? So you've got to link the root tip to mitosis, growth rapidly, and growth is mitosis. So an application question that they could ask you is that the mitotic index can also be calculated by using percentage of cells rather than total number of cells of the denominator. So if we look here, we have total number of cells. However, they could change this and put percentage of cells as the denominator. Um, suggest why it's advan advantageous to use percentage of cells rather than total number of cells. Um, and that's because... It allows for different numbers of cells to be counted in different tissues for comparison as the initial numbers might differ, okay? So having a percentage means that you can account for initial differences in number, okay? And the advantage of that, being able to count them, is that you can then make accurate comparisons between the mitotic index of one and then the other.